Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have created this makeup tutorial for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a nice thumbs up. So before we start, I am going to put my hair up just to keep um, the hair waste from my face. So my face is already moisturized, so I'm just going to go ahead and add some lip moisturizer as my lip is very dry. I am going to add the Smith Rosebud that I absolutely love. You can get this at Sephora. Um, the consistency of this lip balm is amazing. It goes very, very well on the lips and it's just so moisturizing. So now I am going to go ahead and add my primer. This is the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio. I believe this primer is new, so I was able to buy it at Walmart. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my favorite foundation. This is the L'Oreal True Match and I am in the shade W8. Right now I am not blending anything. I'm just kind of painting on the foundation all over my face so I can go ahead and start blending it out with my beauty blender. If by any chance you don't have a beauty blender, you are more than welcome to use a foundation brush. So now I am going to go ahead and work on my eyebrows. Um, one thing I will point out is that I don't do anything crazy. As you can see, I already have four eyebrows. So right now I'm just brushing them out and adding a little eyebrow pencil. This eyebrow pencil, I believe I got it at Dollar General. I don't remember the name. I believe it's from L'Oreal, but I would definitely link the name of it down below. Once I have my eyebrows filled, I go ahead and use this L'Oreal True Match Concealer. I add that at the bottom of my eyebrows just to clean them up a little bit. I also bring down this concealer to the eyelids um, just to prime them up a little bit and get them ready for the eyeshadows. Now I'm going to take this NYC translucent powder just to help set my foundation. I'm going to take this Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette and pick up the shade Skimp and apply it with this eyeshadow brush from BH Cosmetics. I do want to let you guys know that all the brushes that I use in this video is from a set that I bought from BH Cosmetics. Now I'm going to pick up this shade Zone from the same palette with this blending brush from the BH Cosmetics set. This is a light brown shade and I'll be using it as my transition color. So I'm going to pick up the shade Punk with this crease brush. I am going to be packing this color in the outer corner of my eyes and start to create that smoky effect.
I am going to take this Sephora airbrush crease brush just to kind of blend out that color more. I am going to add more of that skimp shade only because I have faded out while I was doing all the blending. Now I am going to take this e.l.f. cream eyeliner with a angled brush. One thing I will say is that I am not the best with doing eyeliner, but um, I think I gotten better with it time, so this works. <laughs> This time for concealer, I am going to take this e.l.f. under eye primer. I'm just going to take a little amount and just add it to the areas that I crease a lot. So I am going to take my favorite concealer. This is the L'Oreal True Match and I am in the shade N45. So I do this dotting method because I don't like to pack on my concealer all at once and to also avoid creasing. I am using my beauty blender to blend out my concealer. So I am going to take this Airspun Loose Face Powder. I got this at Walmart and I heard amazing reviews on this. And I am just packing this on on top of my concealer just to set it. So I'm taking this big fan brush that came in my BH cosmetic set and I love it so much because it's so soft. Um, I'm just taking this to just kind of brush out the translucent powder. I'm going to use the punk shade that I used for the outer corner of my eyes and just adding that in the bottom of my waterline. Since I really don't use fake eyelashes, I just go ahead and curl my lashes and add on the mascara. I am going to be using this Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara that came in one of my gift sets that I got for Christmas. I am now going to take this MAC Zoom Lash Mascara Sample and I'm going to be using it for my lower lashes. I am taking this e.l.f. blush palette and picking up the lightest tone. I am going to be adding that to my cheeks. I am picking up this Milani face and body bronzer and I'll be using this to highlight. So for this look I wanted to go for a more nude lip. So I am picking up this Revlon um, lip color in the shade 
$0.95. I am also adding this lip gloss from Revlon. This is in the shade 150 and I just added it to just give me that glossy finish. Well guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a nice thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.